Good morning. And welcome to a new vlog. Today's Friday and we have a bunch of fun stuff that we're gonna do today because it's actually really nice and really sunny in New York City today. <laughs> if you know us, you know that like whenever, especially because it's still technically the winter, whenever there's a day that's like a nice spring-like day, Shan and I are like, we gotta get out of the house. <laughs> like, we work from home, we gotta go do stuff. So today, it's super nice out, it's sunny, it's warm, like I'm wearing a denim jacket. That should tell you <laughs> everything, and a tank top. So we're going out, we're gonna do like a bunch of different things because we just need to like walk around, get out of the house. <laughs> So normally we would have like coffee and breakfast here, but we found out about this new, I think it's an all vegan like bakery or cafe like in our neighborhood. So we're obviously gonna go there in the morning. So I think it's like 9.30ish right now. So we're gonna go there first and then continue on our little stroll of Brooklyn our for the day. Walk, our little Brooklyn day. We're definitely having a complete Brooklyn day. So we'll give you the tour. The Brooklyn tour. The Brooklyn tour. Windy today. So windy. It really is windy. I'm like, maybe we're not dressed warm enough. We like saw the sun and just like went outside on instinct and now we're committed to our looks. So there's that. Well, we actually, I figured that it might be a little cold, but sometimes, because our plan is to go to this one area of Brooklyn and take pictures. And then when we take pictures, I want to be wearing a certain outfit and I didn't want to wear like a thick, hold on, pause for a loud truck. I didn't want to be wearing like a thick sweatshirt for the picture. So I just thought, oh, we'll just wear like a thick leather jacket, but it's a little chilly. Same. Because it's early, but yeah, maybe because it's early, even though I'm like, mm, our chances are not good because the area we're walking to is more by the water, so like it's in always theory, colder, it's always colder. But like, we're not staying there all day, we're gonna go there, walk around, take a picture, and then go to some other areas that we like to go to. So maybe we calculated this right, we'll, we'll see, see if it pays off or if we'll we're see if freezing. It pays off. But I will say, sometimes when we're traveling, if we take a photo or something. We're just wearing whatever we had to pack to travel. So, yeah. you know, you kind of like <laughs> only get your pick of like the few options you have. And Shan and I pack very smart so that we can like pack the max amount of stuff versus like the most style, right? So, so when we're home and we have our whole closet to choose from, we're, we're like, like, well, I want to wear this thing because I never got to wear it like in pictures. Really. Exactly. Like I wore leather pants today because I love these pants, but like <laughs> I, I normally don't pack these to travel. They're not exactly like the smartest choice to wear like eight times in a row. We just wear cute outfits, not necessarily warm sensible we got like a maple tahini donut chocolate popcorn muffin it looks so good i have not worn it in so long it's hard to find actually yeah. and donuts too sometimes so delicious like amazing i'm so mad that we never heard of that before i do think it is new though so that part of it i'm like okay but so freaking good like everything we had was amazing and the coffee is really so good. good and we're coffee snobs i'm not yes, gonna lie to you. you guys know we're coffee snobs but <laughs> i just feel like we have never had an all vegan bakery in our neighborhood ever since we've lived here we've lived here for like seven years yeah so the fact that like one exists now is just like amazing i think it's like two videos ago or something we were talking about how there isn't like a vegan bakery near us and it's yeah. like we manifested I finding we, out about this bakery <laughs> totally manifested it, which is so crazy when you think about it yeah just definitely how it is and also it wasn't just vegan it was all gluten-free as well and it's so funny because shan and i are friends with our neighbor and he's gluten-free and so i was texting him while we were eating there like oh my god you need to come to this place it's not just vegan it's like completely gluten-free and vegan the best of both worlds <laughs> finishing our coffee continue walking to where we have to go it'll take us a little bit maybe like another like 20 30 minutes to walk there um and then we'll show you where we're Gonna be. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a cherry blossom tree and it's in blooming and it is March 9th or 8th or yeah, something. Yeah, which is wild. It just is blooming way too early. So that shit like a month early. Over a month early. Usually they bloom at the end of April. Yeah, that shows you how weird the weather has been for sure. Look at the view behind us. Actually, on my camera, you could probably see it when you're watching a video, but for us, it's hard to see what's behind us. It's so sunny right now. It's so sunny. That's why we both have our sunglasses on, but it's so pretty over here. And it's actually not as cold as we thought that it was going to be. So I'm feeling like the outfit choice <laughs> was great. So Gabby's going to explain where we are. So we are in Dumbo right now. This is an amazing area of Brooklyn if you don't know about it. It actually stands for down under the Manhattan Brooklyn overpass because you are basically surrounded by these two bridges. The Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge. And the Manhattan Bridge. Yeah. 
So the views are really nice because you see both bridges. You can even walk them, walk under them. You can walk the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, the Manhattan Bridge, the train and cars just yeah, go over them. you don't want that one. But you can see it, so it's really nice. That's where the train takes you over if you're going from like Brooklyn into the city and you're on like an overground train. But anyway, you get an amazing view of like Manhattan from here and it's just so nice. And this area is so cool. There's so many like businesses, shops, restaurants, really good pizza and ice cream. Yeah, I would say this is probably like a touristy area of New York City that we actually think is worth the hype. Like, very it's very touristy. Um, actually, right now it's not that bad, probably because it's like not really like a tourist season. But sometimes in the summer, like you can't even like walk over here. Like, there's so many people. Yeah, Shannon can like take a little clip. There's always people other than us <laughs> <laughs> taking photos. Like, basically everybody. Comes like here wedding shoots, engagement shoots. We've seen like a tours million over here. Yeah, like a million. But it's like a really nice area and really scenic. So any photo you take over here is gonna be amazing. And amazing. So everybody comes here, but yeah, it's still a little bit like wintry, so it's not as crowded. But it's, I mean, it's 11 a.m. and there's already a lot of people here, but it is worth it. Like when we have friends visit, like we have these friends visiting this week, we will always take them here because it's just like a great place to go and there's a lot you can do here. And that loud noise you're hearing is a train. I, mean, I don't know if my Zoom will work, but there's a train going over the Manhattan Bridge right now. Overground train, that's what I told you. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I'm gonna zoom out because these are, this is like, the vibes of this area so it's like a little there, there's some people here i wouldn't say it's crowded but there are some people there's some people taking like maternity shoots and there was a tour group here before there's some people like standing around and walking but it's actually not that bad like i said in the summer it can be so packed it's over so here packed. it's so nice and people sit on the grass and like have picnics and stuff and there's like a lot of events that go on over here too like movie nights and I don't know, it's just great. There's also a timeout market over here. We did a whole video on that market when it opened up, so I'll make sure to link that in the description because they have like really good like local um, like food and drink spots like inside of the timeout market. So if you're here, that's a good place to go. Okay, it's always loud over here, but we are in Dumbo and we're by the famous Jane's Carousel. We're taking some pics. I don't know if you can see because it's like, maybe now you can see, I don't know, but taking some pics in the carousel area. If they're edited by the time this video goes up, I'll put them on screen. If not, you'll have to just go to our Instagram and see them. But we love this area because the views are amazing. Got the Manhattan Bridge, got the Brooklyn Bridge, Freedom Tower, just epic views everywhere. Gabby, have you ever been on the carousel? Cause I haven't. One time. I'm not sure. I feel like I remember doing it one time, but I was older. I was probably like 17. I don't think I've ever done it, but it's very iconic in Brooklyn. I don't know how long it's been here, but if I find it out, I'll put it on screen, but it was yeah. moving a second ago, and now it's I not moving it's anymore. Again. I okay. feel like a lot of people get on it, not just kids, but there was like a big group of kids on it, like a school or something, but now there's more people on it, so I think it's gonna go. Okay, so remember we were saying we don't know how long the carousel's been here? Well, it says it right on the floor for you all. It says, well, I can see it, but I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> it says since 1922, but it wasn't always in Dumbo. I think it's been in Dumbo since, according to that yeah. sign, 2011. Definitely 2011, which is when I graduated high school. So that makes sense why you were 17 if you wrote it. <laughs> I did say that I, I, I did not remember anything about it until I was like older. I was definitely like at least 16 the first time that it was here. So it's interesting if you think about it. I'm pretty sure that it's an old carousel that they like moved the pieces over here when they were fixing the Dumbo area because this used to not be like a hip and popular tourist spot. It was like kind of like abandoned, a, right? More like an a, kind of like an abandoned. It was like up and coming. They were like putting things here to try and bring people back because it's so nice over here. So it totally did work, by the way, because if you look at the line, there's a crazy line of kids. I don't, yeah, I don't want to film it because it's their, their kids, but. Yeah, but basically it is an old carousel that they like refurbished, brought over here, and then it's been here since 2011. So I think I was definitely like 17. The that time that, I wrote that it. makes sense. <laughs> but um, what I will say is that there's a fun little Gabby fact. So these buildings here, are like now like shops and restaurants and stuff but back in the day they were abandoned and Gabby has like photos of them abandoned. when they were abandoned because she used to do like a photo project of like abandoned buildings yeah my dad would always take my brother and I to this area and we would like walk around and also I like did a lot of photo shoots especially when I was in high school and college like in this area and used like the facade of the buildings for like the photos we should try and see if we can find any so I could like put them in the video if you have them on your computer I definitely should look I don't yeah know if I have it on my computer but I definitely have it like in my old room yeah so I I gotta go and find that. It's super interesting, and I always think of that when I'm in this area because now, if you're over here, it's like really nice buildings and kind of, in my opinion, expensive restaurants other than the timeout market. I don't know if you can see this on my phone. 
probably not that we're out in the light, but let me put my phone brightness all the way up. Okay, we walked 3.7, 3.17 miles already. Already today? So we're gonna, to walk back home, we have to walk another three miles. So we're gonna walk six miles today. <laughs> this is a famous pizza place in Brooklyn in Dumbo area called Juliana's and here, another famous one called Grimaldi's. Gabby, do you want to say what the pizza drama is in New York? Gabby started telling the story, but then someone came, we were standing in front of a box of pizza tomatoes, and then some guy came to like bring them inside, so we moved. So now I'm gonna finish the story. Yes. So there's these two pizza places here. It started with Grimaldi's, that was the famous pizza place in this area of Brooklyn. And then I think that like the two brothers had a fight, or like there was a fight in the family somehow, and one of them got mad at each other and then opened up a different pizza place, Juliana's, right next door. And if you go by the Juliana's, it literally says on the outside like founded by Patsy Grimaldi. <laughs> Basically, it's a little bit of a, there's a pizza war in all of these areas of Brooklyn. Family pizza war. Yeah, and it all has to do with them being cold fired pizza. That's like the old school way of making pizza. New York, it's like New York style pizza. So all the drama is kind of over the fight of like which coal oven fired pizza place is the oldest or the best or who has the best slice of pizza. And all New Yorkers will argue about which slice of pizza is the best. So you can make your choice when you come here and try them all. I will say though, normally in New York you get like a slice of pizza, but these two, have more like pie style pizzas. Like you go and you get a pie and you like share the pie with like your family, your friends or whatever. Um, but yeah, that is a real pizza drama. Yeah, my um, personal opinion is that they all taste really good. So you can't go wrong. Okay, we were on the side of Grimaldi's before we're that one Grimaldi's and look what I said. Whole pies only, no slices. Okay, that's my the Brooklyn opinion, way. I'll give my hot take, okay. Grimaldi's is better to sit in, but Juliana's has thinner pizza. So you take what you want out of that. I think it was like the guy who founded Juliana's, who was the, originally at Grimaldi's, was the one who like started the coal fire pizza thing. So it's like, even though Juliana's is newer, technically, he was the one who like did it first or something, right? Yeah, it's like it, something like that. There's actually, I mean like, I'm not even gonna go into it because to be honest with you, you can just research this and you will probably get the details more right than how we're telling the story right now. But there is even more drama with a few other pizza places in, in the Coney Island area, kind of where I'm from, that also have a similar argument and they also argue with these people over the, here. The Totono's place, yeah, right? So yeah, so it is a very, very similar argument and there's even like someone claiming that someone else set fire to their business and a lot of <laughs> stuff like that. So it's really, really, the mafia might be involved. Like there's, there, there, there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. But also we know all this because we're both local New Yorkers. If you guys didn't know that already, I feel like if you've been following us for a while, you probably know, but Gabby and I are both from New York. Gabby's actually like grew up in in Brooklyn. I grew up in Long Island, but my parents are from Queens and my grandparents are from Brooklyn and stuff. So like, we know the history really, really well. I'll say that. Yeah. We're pretty much <laughs> as New York-y as it gets. And now I really, really want a slice of pizza or a pie. I think I should go up this way, but we should cross over. Okay. I'll be honest, um, Ellen B. Spumoni Gardens is my favorite. They're not Which, in the wars. <laughs> they're not in the wars, but... But there's a location, a location here, here, but the original location is in Bensonhurst, which is like kind of close to where Gabby grew up. But this is also another like they have slices, but they also make whole oh. pie pizza place. Oh my god, the Bensonhurst location though. This summer we have to have a beach day and film a vlog yeah. and actually go there. And I don't then, think we've ever filmed. At, I don't think we've ever filmed at Spomoni Gardens, but I feel like whenever Shannon and I go there, we're on like a high of life. You know, we're <laughs> eating our pizza. We went to the beach. We're getting like ices. We're living our best New York lives, but <laughs> like that next time we will film it because it is that good. Home. Home. Um, so after we were we were in Dumbo, we walked all back the way home. towards our apartment, <laughs> but on the way we stopped at our favorite thrift store, Buffalo Exchange, and we got some things. So we're yeah. gonna show you what we got. This is one of those times where we went in there and they had a lot of stuff that either Shannon and I needed or really liked and that we thought would be good just because we don't have some of those items, but also just because we have a few trips coming up where we need like certain kinds of seasonal wear, I guess. That so, we don't currently have. We don't so. currently have, so we all, like a bunch of things that we needed were there, so it was really great actually. But then we had to walk home with all of it, so now we're here. And how much did we walk? I think, where's my phone? You have my bag, because <laughs> Gabby's back was hurting, so I took her backpack, and she took my bag, because it was Wife lighter. Wife duties. Wife duties. Mwah. Let me see how, how we walked. Um, we walked 6.7 miles. <laughs> Proof. 6.7 miles. Just a casual Friday. Just a casual Friday. I always feel good when we walk that much, though, because that's the point of being in New York City, you know, yeah. is walking. Literally the point. And now we just got home. We're going to do a little haul for you. I'm making us lunch. I just put it in the oven. We got these, like, I'll show you. 
I got these at Whole Foods this week because they were on sale. These little, it's like two o'clock and we haven't ate yet. And we're seeing our friends tonight. We're all having a little get together at our house, but one of our friends isn't free till 9 p.m. So, <laughs> so we're having dinner at 9 p.m., which is late for us. So it works out that we kind of had some pastries earlier. So now we're gonna have a late lunch. These little chicken tenders, these vegan Jack and Annie's ones. I don't, we've French had fries. this brand before, but I don't think we've had these specific chicken tenders. So we might, they might be new to us. New to us, so I'm excited about that. I just put it in the oven, but now, for all time. time. All right, so I'll go first while Gabby's putting her bag away. So the first thing I got was um, these like cargo-y, canvas-y parachute pants. I don't really know what these are called, but I like have so many pants that are this style um, because I love them because they're comfortable to wear, but they also like look good with a lot of stuff. Um, and I got one in this color and they had the same brand. They're from Zara, but they were from the thrift store. And it's the same exact ones, but just in this brown color. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like maybe give away or um, like donate other ones that I have that are this style that I don't like really wear that much anymore, I guess you could say, because these ones definitely fit me better and are more like the style that I like. I'm giving Gabby my stuff so I can hold it. Rascal, um, say hi to the vlog. Rascal wasn't in the vlog this morning because he was, he was hiding boy. and we just figured out why he was hiding but we won't tell you because it's disgusting. Yeah, but it's fixed. It's fixed now. <laughs> Then I found this shirt. Um, it's like a long sleeve one. It says save the Grizzlies, but I loved it because it's a high neck. Like I love stuff that's like a high neck, but not a turtleneck. I feel like it just looks good on me. And this is from Urban Outfitters, but it was obviously the thrift store. So it was way cheaper. Uh, I think that one was $14. So, and I don't have long sleeve shirts. I have like sweatshirts, but not long sleeve shirts. Cause I just never found ones that I like, but I like this one. There you go, Gabby. <laughs> um, and then this I found literally at the end while I was checking out, but I'm just gonna say, if you know, you know, okay? If you know what this means, then you know. Um, the back tells. The back tells what it is. <laughs> but if you're a Swifty, I guess someone made it because this is not from her Taylor Swift store or anything. So this is lyrics from the song Last Great American Dynasty by Taylor Swift. And because she says, I'm not gonna say this word because I don't know if we <laughs> will be monetized if I say it. But anyway, that line is from the song and it's from her house. Like that song is about her house in Rhode Island. So that's why it says Rhode Island and the lyrics are on the back. And I feel like I am going to one more Eras Tour concert, but I don't think I'll wear this. I think that I'll just wear this at home, but I like it because it's like subtle, you know? Like if you're not a Swifty, then you wouldn't know what this means. You know what subtle I mean? Subtle Swiftiness. Subtle Swifty. that's the kind of Swifty that you are going for. And then, okay. you didn't throw that at me. Oh, sorry, Gabby. Yeah, <laughs> you look like you're holding a lot of stuff. And then the last thing I got was from the men's section. Um, it's another long sleeve shirt. It's in, in a large, so it's gonna be a little bit big, but I tried it on and I like how it fits. Um, and I just liked it because it has like a skull on it. It looks like a little edgy and the back is really cool. I don't know what the brand is. It doesn't say actually. So I have no idea what the brand is, but um, again, I don't have any long sleeve shirts. I really only have sweatshirts, so um, could use some of these. So that's that's my thrift haul. I'm gonna show you my little thrift haul. Mostly Shanna found everything because I did look around, but I feel like everything that I got, <laughs> Shanna found, because she always finds the best stuff for me and I get like kind of fed up when I'm thrifting or distracted, you would say. I love thrifting. I'll just like go through like every rack like very slowly and just like look and see if I like anything. Gabby's like done and after like five minutes. Like sometimes I'm like, did you even look at this rack? And no. she's like, no. I get over it. And Shanna always like knows how to find things for people, like what they would like. Like if you went shopping with our friends and they yeah. like wanted a certain thing, Shanna could go around the store. I'm pretty good at like find finding it. stuff for other people's style and also on my own, I think too. <laughs> but me, I only find shoes. Even though the last time we did thrift, I found stuff on my own and I was really proud of myself. But this was not that. Shanna found everything. <laughs> But first she found me this shirt. It's just like kind of like an acid wash, nice shirt. I think it's from Urban Outfitters, but it was only like $11 now. But it's kind of high neck. I also like the high neck vibes when I can, even though today, not Today right. low neck, but low neck. it's good for- But I need some things. stuff like this because I feel like my style is like a little edgy or a little fun. I don't know like how to describe it, but I feel like a lot of my shirts are like band shirts for bands that I like genuinely really like, but then not every, <laughs> Like not all the time can I wear them, especially if we do like branded stuff. I need stuff that's like my style that like I can wear on camera. And I was like so. no branded or logos on it because when you film stuff for- Yeah, you, like whenever you film stuff, you can't wear stuff that's like branded or has logos or it's like, you know, like copyrighted. And a lot of bands 
their stuff is copyrighted. So that means that I can't always wear it when we do certain things. And also when we're traveling, it's like I don't wanna wear a different band shirt every single day, even though at home I do like to do that. So I got this, thought it was really, really cute, kind of like cropped vibes. Love it. Okay. That's very you. Very me. Then I also, like Shanna, do not have a, long, a lot of long sleeve shirts. And the next trip that we're going on, I think, I think the next trip that we're going on, unless something comes between then and that trip, <laughs> like it's not really cold, but there are gonna be like some cooler temperatures. So I don't really wanna bring a lot of jackets, but I do think something like this, like a long sleeve shirt would be perfect. So this is kind of like a long sleeve waffle short shirt with like a V. It's also from Urban. It's also from Urban and it was also only $15, so. Really good deal. I don't have anything like this, so I think it's gonna be really useful, to be honest. And that one even had the tag on it, so you could tell it was like brand new. Brand new. For some reason, they have a lot of stuff today from Urban Outfitters. That's not usually the case. Someone must have like sold a lot of Urban Outfitters yeah. stuff. Like, I don't know how. And then Shanna tried on this shirt and then showed it to me, and then she was like, yeah, I don't like it. And I was like, can I try it? And I loved it. It's like kind of really long. I don't know if you can tell, but this could be cool. Like with like shorts or a skirt or like just like leggings or something. I don't know. It's yeah, like I have a it. billion shirts that are that style, which is why I went for it for myself. But I was like, I don't really need something like that. So I was like, yeah, I think you would like that. Yeah, but when I tried it on, I loved it. It's super high neck. Like I said, I like that a lot because I have really big boobs and sometimes I don't like to like just be all big boobs to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but certain well, shirts I'm like, I want to conceal it a little bit, especially like depending, I mean, most of the time I want to conceal that I have really big boobs. That's just like how I feel the most confident, but I thought this was really, really cute. And also it's like graphic, but not, not a band tee and not yeah. branded. So I could wear this on camera, but still have like that graphic tee kind of look that I like. And then the last thing I got, this is like absolutely perfect for our next trip, is a pair of... This will of, be a little hint of maybe you can guess where yeah, we're going Yeah, if you next. can guess where we're going based on these, I'll be really impressed. So <laughs> you can try that down below. But I got these pants. They're kind of like green cargo-y, would you yeah, say? Yeah, they're green cargo pants. Yeah, they're like green cargo pants. So hard to show it. But they fit me pretty good. They're cute and they're like not too long. And since Shanna and I, I don't know if you can tell this from our videos, we're both pretty short, yeah. which means that like pants that are kind of cut to be short are very rare to find. And like these are great because I will not have to get them hemmed. hemmed or like cut the ends off, which I've done a lot of times. <laughs> People can't tell. So, but anyway, that's the haul. Hope you liked it. That I'm was happy a with it. I feel like I got some good stuff and I'm probably gonna wear, every time I buy something, I have to wear the outfit like on the next day. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna wear that tomorrow. I'm gonna try to pick up Rascal. Okay, we got a cat. We got a cat. Say hi to the vlog, Ras. Say hi, Rudel. He's in a little bit of a mood because we took him to the vet the other day and we it took a while to get him in the cat care and he was real pissed about it. Yeah, and I think this morning he woke up and thought, because we weren't doing our normal routine because we were going out early in the morning, I think he thought that he was going to the vet again and he was in panic mode. Yeah, he has a little bit of fear happening. So he's like in a bit of a mood, if you can't tell. <laughs> but he's a little cutie, say hi. Hi, internet. <laughs> Hi, internet friends. Good morning. So we're ending the video the next morning because we forgot to end it yesterday. <laughs> and basically, after we last talked to you all, exactly what we said happened. We kind of like hung out for a little while and then later at night, our friends came over and it was really nice. We just had dinner and like talked for literally hours. Like by so, the like, time- like two in the morning. <laughs> everybody left, it was like two in the morning. So this morning, I feel like I'm tired and I really, really need this, but it was like a really nice night, you know? Like we just like chatted and talked for hours and it's nice to do that with your friends. I feel like we did a lot of stuff yesterday. So I think the video should be long enough and entertaining enough for you all. But um, we wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon for another video. Bye. Bye.